Hey guys, I'm Quentin Hartman, and today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of lighting. Uh, so, let's go to the basics. The first thing that I think is important is to know how to create a basic lighting setup. And by that I mean kind of just a three-point lighting setup. So, the first light is what's known as the key light. And it's also known as the main light. Uh, some people call it that. It's really up to you. Uh, but this is your most important light, and it's going to be your brightest light uh, most of the time, generally speaking. And this will illuminate your subject and kind of just separate them a little bit from whatever is around them and just cast a good light on them. Uh, it's your most important light because it's the main light, and if I could choose one light that you have to stick with and get rid of all the others, it would be the key light. The next light that I think that y'all should know as part of the basics uh, is going to be the fill light. So this goes on the opposite side of the camera. Normally the key light goes about 45 degrees to the right. Uh, the fill light goes about mm, 45 degrees to the left of the camera. And so this light's purpose is to just kind of fill in the shadows that the key light creates. It's going to help create depth the way you want to, and it's also going to just help the shadows not be too stark, unless you want that. Of course, all this is relative, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. If your artistic vision like demands that you do something else, well then by all means do that. You know, If this doesn't fit your project, well then obviously change it. Uh, but this is just basic stuff. The next uh, basic light in the three-point setup that I'm talking about is the backlight. This can be done in a variety of ways. It's a lot easier to hide the backlight through a some sort of close-up or like medium close-up shot. Uh, but basically this just helps separate your actor or your subject or whatever you're filming from the background behind them. Uh, so if I was wearing a white shirt or just something white, uh, like a white hoodie or whatever, I would probably blend into this background a little bit and it wouldn't be that good. So we want to put a light facing this way, like specifically for the purpose of hitting the white wall behind me to reflect off of that wall and illuminate my backside a little bit. Or we could just put a light behind me and I just make sure to stand in front of it. But it kind of creates this almost like halo and outline effect that really helps create that depth and separation from that background. So that's the basic three-point lighting setup. After that, uh, I think it's good to know how to set up that basic three-point lighting setup. So let's do that. But uh, this is a lighting stand. It, you put the light on top of it right here. So you would screw the light on in, on this little silver thing right here, this little metal uh, screw. And you tighten everything with these little knobs. And so you turn them right and everything can extend and obviously go back in later. And they're really simple and easy to use. All right, so let's get into talking about the lights. Uh, these are the basic lights that we use. They're LEDs. Aperture, great quality, and uh, let's talk about how to power them. So you'll see here on the back side, there are two battery slots. These are the batteries. Uh, we have little pink tape on them to know that they're ours in case we ever go film with another group. Um, line up the little dashes and you slide it in there and it's ready to be turned on. Uh, but that's how you power the lights. The next thing you're gonna want to remember about the lights is the gel cover. It's honestly underrated and super important feature. It not only helps diffuse the light, it also helps protect it. So if I was to drop this on some rocks, whoops, uh, instead of a rock just going straight up into here and smashing the LED bulbs, uh, it hit the gel cover, which is good. And then on the topic of diffusion, it, it helps fine tune the light and make it look just right the way you want it. And on that topic of fine tuning, there's a little turn dial right here that you adjust to for brightness, basically. Uh, and it's super simple, on off switch, that's how you use our LED lights. All right guys, now let's talk about hard light and soft light and diffusion, three very important aspects of lighting. Now, hard light and soft light are two different things, but they're kind of one. They're two sides to the same coin, so to speak. Uh, so, soft light is when, you know, your subject is illuminated just right, and they just have the right amount of shadows, and it's not, not super defined lines of stark contrast down their face or their body or the background behind them, whereas hard light is the exact opposite. One side of their face is really bright and maybe the other one is completely in shadows. And it depends on, you know, your artistic vision, uh, but normally, most of the time, soft light is going to be way better than hard light. 
Uh, some examples of soft light and hard light are uh, the sun. The sun is hard light. In fact, I would go as far as to say it's harsh light. It's really bright and it creates really stark shadows. Uh, whereas a soft light would maybe be just like a gentle room light or like your lamp next to your bed or something. It's, it's not illuminating the entire planet. It's just lighting up enough to where you can see everything just fine, but nothing's too bright and nothing's too dark. Um, to help with that, we have things like, like this, a reflector. And you can bounce light off of it to help diffuse some light. And we'll talk about diffusion in just a second. And that'll help create a softer kind of tone. Uh, also inside here, if you unzip this, uh, there is a basically a little diffusion thing in there to where you can hold it up in front of your light source, whether that's the sun or whether you have that as a light, and the light will shine through it, almost like a piece of paper, and it will block some of the light, but let just enough through. Uh, and on that topic, let's talk about diffusion. So diffusion is basically controlled blocking of light. It's to help get just the right amount of shadows, just the right amount of light to create that perfect depth that you're looking for in your video or movie project. Uh, diffusion is a really important skill for any upcoming gaffers and wannabe lighting techs. And it's something that everyone, I think, should know. It basically just helps separate amateur videos from professional videos. Quality lighting is huge and diffusion is a big part of that. Uh, because diffusion helps determine whether your light is going to be soft or hard. So anyway, that's diffusion, hard light, and soft light.